and I see that B is left to or two places left to C. You can choose any place for B. For first person, any place can be chosen. So B is second to the left of um, C. So C is the reference. This C is facing center. Now, what is the left? Left of C would always be the clockwise direction. So always remember that in circular arrangement, circular arrangement, when people are facing center, then left is clockwise movement and right is anti-clockwise. Do you understand? So two places means this is adjacent. Adjacent means the place which is exactly near to the person. Two places means one, two. So here at second place in the clockwise direction, I will place B. And this is how I'll start placing people. How many of you understood in circular arrangement how you have to start placing people? How many of you understood that? Yes, Shivangi, go ahead. I have a sick, just please explain the arrangement once again. No, no, no. I Please explain the just the arrangement part once again. Okay, fine. So Shivangi, what I'm saying is um, you have to look at two things. You have to look at the persons. So it is the information about C and B. So B is second to the left of C. So reference is C. First I'll place C and then B would be second to the left of C. So then I will decide that which direction is left. So if C is facing center, left of C would be clockwise direction, something like this. So I will leave one place and at second place, I will, I will put B here. So if C is here and B is here, my information of C, B is second to the left of C is, is taken care of. Do you understand, Shivangi? Yes, sir. Okay. Megha, Shahu, and Keshav. What happened? Why are you guys just joining late? That to 12 minutes late. Sir, I was left due to network. Keshav was joined, joined earlier also. Okay. And Keshav, what about you? Okay. So, what do you think about what you think? Guys, please join at time. It, 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 it just breaks the momentum of the class. I'm just requesting all of you. Okay, fine. So now I will solve this particular question, circular arrangement question for you so that you can have, or do you want to try it uh, first and then I should solve? What do you want? I should solve this question to show you how the, the arrangement uh, is done or you will do it yourself. Okay, you want to try? Okay, great, great. Even if you are getting it wrong, that's not absolutely not. We are in phase of understanding few things. So just try it and then I'll give you my method to solve this question and then we can proceed ahead. Is that okay? Okay, great. So take two to uh, how many questions? There, there is just one question here on the screen. Next three questions I'll show later. So you take three minutes maximum two to three minutes to solve these questions.
Okay, all of you are giving options. Option C. Okay, should I solve this question now? Or anyone needs more time? I don't think so. People are. Okay, let me solve this question. So I'm making this circle again. Following, follow the information given below for question one to four. Okay, great. We will follow. Six girls are sitting in a circle facing to the center of the circle. So one, two, three, four, and five, six. And the name of the girls uh, are given as randomly as P, Q, R, S, T, V. T is not between Q and S, but some other one. P is next to the left of V. So this is V and because they are facing center, P would be here. R is fourth to the right of P. So if R is fourth to the right of P, so what is right? Right means go in anti-clockwise direction. So one, two, three, four. So this here comes R. Now, please understand, please understand. It, it has been given that T is not between Q and S. So where should I put Q and S? T is not between Q and S. Then it is, it is, it is, it is very much clear that it is very much clear that Q and S are not adjacent. Do you understand this? Uh, no, I, I am understanding what you are saying. What logic I'm trying to make is if Q, if T is not between Q and S, this statement gives me an idea that Q and S are not sitting adjacent. So these two places cannot be given to Q and S adjacent places. So if these two places cannot be given to Q and S, then Q would be here and S would be here or S would be here and Q would be here. Then this place goes to, I have P, Q, R, S. So this place goes to T. Now, why I am making these two places for, uh, Q and S or S and Q? Because it has not been given that Q is to the to the left of S or S is to the left of Q. No relative information between Q and S has been given. Sir? Yes. Sir, here you have to understand that why you have to the left side of your QS in the left side of Yes, sir. One second. I'll remove it. Okay, let's मान लो मैं QS को यहाँ पे ले लेता हूँ। तो अगर QS को मैंने यहाँ पे ले लिया, तो यहाँ पे देखो लिखा हुआ है कि T is not between Q and S, but some other one। तो एक Q और S के बीच में कौन आया? कौन सा मदर वन है? Sir, T is a mother one के बीच में। यहाँ पे एक स्टेटमेंट लिखा हुआ है T is not between Q and S. But some other one. इसके इसका मतलब ये है कि Q and S के बीच में कोई एक आदमी तो आता है। यही मतलब है ना इसका? Yes. Sir. Okay. समझ रहे हो बात को? मैं yes, ये बोलता हूँ कि Q और S के बीच में T नहीं बैठा हुआ है, कोई और बैठा हुआ है। इसका मतलब ये है कि Q and S एक साथ नहीं बैठे हुए हैं, उनके बीच में कोई एक आदमी है। Yes, Tia. <coughs> Go ahead, Tia. Sir. No, your voice is not I didn't hear you. 
your voice is breaking yes someone else was asking question to me ha huh, what is what is your uh, question so for locating r so we need to include p also ab like nahi p is fourth okay r is fourth to the right of p so 1 2 3 4 p so we is start karenge na nahi fourth matlab ye pehla place ye dusra place ye teesra place ye chautha place okay sir understood theek hai yes sir तुमसे कोई चार प्लेस छोड़ के बैठा हुआ है तो तुम्हारे बगल वाला पहला प्लेस है तुम्हारा प्लेस पहला प्लेस नहीं है समझ रहे हो बात को yes. अब ये समझ में आया मैं क्यों यहाँ पे क्यू एन एस को प्लेस नहीं कर रहा हूँ yes, yes. no कुछ तो है ना उन दोनों के बीच में तो सर अब तो वही बात मैं कह रहा हूँ कि यहाँ पे क्यू आर एस नहीं होगा तो अब क्यू आर एस ये जगह पे क्यू आर एस नहीं हो सकता है तो अब दो ही जगह बची है क्यू और एस को रखने के लिए यहाँ और यहाँ तो यहाँ पे अगर मैंने क्यू रखा तो एस यहाँ जाएगा और यहाँ पे मैंने एस रखा तो क्यू यहाँ जाएगा तो ये प्लेस किसके लिए बची है टी के लिए बची है yes, समझ रहे हो बात को yes, और ये दो जगह पे क्यों लगा रहा हूँ क्योंकि मुझे नहीं पता है कि एस के लेफ्ट में क्यू है या राइट में क्यू है ये इन्फॉर्मेशन क्वेश्चन में अभी तक नहीं दिया हुआ है तो मुझे दो अरेन्जमेंट बनाने पड़ रहे हैं पहले अरेन्जमेंट में मैं यहाँ पे क्यू रखता हूँ और बाद में एस रखता हूं यहाँ पे और फिर मुझे पता है कि हो सकता है कि यहाँ पे एस हो तो दूसरा अरेंजमेंट में यहाँ पे क्यू रखता हूं समझ रहे हो बात को यस नो एनी डाउट एनी डाउट किसी को भी डू गाइज हैव एनी डाउट नो सर फाइन सो नाउ लेट्स गो एंड एंड फाइंड आउट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज नॉट ट्रू ओके क्यू और एस की जगह इंटरचेंज नहीं हो सकती इंटरचेंज करके बना तो दिया मैंने yes, मतलब कुछ प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट नहीं होगी ना सॉरी क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग के टाइम कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी ना इंटरचेंज क्वेश्चन सॉल्विंग के टाइम में कुछ प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगी ना इंटरचेंजिंग कर प्रॉब्लम क्या होगी जस्ट गिव मी ए मोमेंट हाँ let me read the question which of the following statement is not true s is next to the right of r s is just next to the right of r t is just um uh, one second t is just next to the right of b t is just next to the right of b v you are going in clockwise direction this is correct r is second to the left of t R is second to the left of T. No, R is second to the right of T. So option C is incorrect. Do you understand? Rest all statements can be. Yes, correct. sir. Ah, uh, this statement is definitely correct. Incorrect. Do you understand? R is. second to the right of t here it has been given r is second to the left of t so definitely wrong it is i see please understand this question carefully in this question places of q and s i don't know where exact places i know that q and s are at these two places so information related to this i am considering to be partially correct and partially incorrect but there would be few information about the positions of other four people t v p r there is no confusion where these people p v t r would be sitting so any information which is contradicting the places of or relative places of these four people according to the arrangement shown here if it is contradicting that would be definitely incorrect that would be not true definitely and i will select that answer so s and r i am not looking at it this can be correct so you cannot say this is correct or incorrect so i am not looking at this there, there is certainty is not here in this answer t is just next to v there is certainty which is correct r is second to the left of t this is definitely certainty is there and this is definitely wrong because the person is to the right not to the left and that is why the option is c do you understand this yes no yes sir yes, yes sir yes. 
So do you understand how to solve these questions? Yes. Yes, sir. Right is anti-clockwise. Ruchi. And left is clockwise. Did you understand the logic I was making? Did you understand why I took two places for Q and S? First of all, you answer these questions of mine. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got any now. My question is: Is there anyone who has a tinge of doubt remaining that why this happened? I could have asked, or you are not asking. You are shy, or something like that. Can you tell me, please? Anyone, sirs and madams, sirs and madams, नहीं छोटे बच्चों, हम्म छोटे बच्चों भी नहीं बहुत छोटे बच्चों, बोलो ए किसी को doubt नहीं है बहुत बढ़िया चलो next question सो ये अरेंजमेंट सेम ही रहेगी नेक्स्ट तीन क्वेश्चन में सेम अरेंजमेंट लगानी है ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करो ये क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करो Hey, how come south direction comes in in circle? Circle there is no north, no south. Circle everyone is facing center. If they are facing center, clockwise is left, anti-clockwise is right. There is no north, north, um, south in 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 circular motion. North south, all these things comes in only linear, uh, not circular motion, circular arrangement. I am getting too much into physics. north south comes into linear arrangement ha i'm coming to that it um either they will face center or they will not face center tanmay sahu just look at here if they face center this is left which is clockwise and this is right which is anti clockwise if they are not facing center so if they are facing exactly opposite to the center there can be only two cases i have never seen a question where it is say, it is said that they are looking at 6 at 60 degrees to the center this kind of question cannot be made so either they are facing center or they are not facing center if they are not facing center if they are facing opposite then this clockwise becomes right and anti clockwise becomes left that's the only difference that comes do you understand tanmay there is no other difference so this goes to this was for uh, b this was for p this was for t and this was for r as far as i remember fine so what has been told um if p and r interchange their places then who is sitting together so so r yahan pe aa jayega and p will go here so then वी टी तो हमेशा एक साथ ही बैठे हुए हैं ना तो पी वी विल नॉट बी देयर बिकॉज दे आर चेंजिंग प्लेसेस आर टी विल डेफिनेटली नॉट बी देयर एंड क्यू विल बी यू डोंट नो सो वी टी आर ऑलवेज टूगेदर सो बाय इंटरचेंज देयर इज नो दिस थिंग कमिंग डिफरेंस कमिंग थर्ड क्वेश्चन yes t is immediate to the right of v that's absolutely correct very good solve this question
directions. Just to the right of V, it is T. You go in anti-clockwise direction, you find T. Okay, now start solving this question. This is a linear arrangement question. Solve this question. Okay, people are answering C, option C, G and B. Very good. Should I solve? Okay. So uh, this question, there are six people who are facing not. <coughs> what do you mean by no, sir? There are others who have not answered. They need answer. So you have solved. It doesn't mean that dusro ko zarurat nahi hai. Agar yahan pe facing north nahi diya hota, to tum log kya lete? Which direction you could have taken? Sir, north or north. Yes, if there is nothing given, you will assume it to be north. Yeah, here it has been given given north. So okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Main pehle hi bana leta hu. Ye right direction hota hai, ye left direction hota hai. Ab main question karna shuru karunga. F is immediate to the right of E. So agar ye E hai, to ye F ho gaya. Achha, saat log baithe hu hai. hai. Yes. Okay, I, I added a place. E is fourth to the right of G. Fourth to the right of G means E or G ke beech mein teen places hai. So G yaan ho gaya. Or one, two, three, four. So E is fourth to the right of G. 
C is neighbor of B and D. So C, if C is neighbor of B and D, then C is sitting between B and D. The person who is third to the left of D as it is at one end. Okay. Sir, we can place D ko place kar denge and F ke aage A ko bitha denge, sir. One second, one second, one second, one second. I'm coming to that. Please wait. The person, person who is, because I'm explaining you, that's why it is, it is killing my speed. So don't look at my speed, look at your speed. I have to explain so many things. So yes, the, the, yes. Uh, my speed goes into that. C is never of B and D. So this is BCD or DCB. Now, please understand that this is the only place where this is the only place where BCD can come together. I'm just, just give me a moment. So this is the only place where BCD can come together and I'll have six people. Now it has been given that the person who is third to the left. So third to the left means what? Where should be D? D should be here. Yes. Because, because left direction is this. So third to the left means if I put D here, there, see, there can be only one place here or here at the end. So if I put D here at this place, third to the left would be somewhere here, which is not possible. So D would be here, C would be here and B would be here and G would be Sir, possible. D can't be in the middle. So A will come here. Sorry. Sir, D can't be in the middle. Why? D is in the middle. Okay, sir. So uh, it is something like this. G, B, C, D, E, F, A. So now who is to the left of C? Sir, G and B. These two persons, G and B. So likewise, we will solve a question. Uh, okay, you solve this question. Question number five, we are done. Question number six. Okay, solve this question. Okay, so this question is, which of the following statement is not true? A is at one end, correct. G is immediate to the left of B, correct. F is second to the right of D, correct. E is immediate to the right of D. Immediate to the left of D, no. E is immediate to the right of D. So option A here. Okay, next question. Yes, Kanchan. What's the doubt? No, sir, no doubt. Actually, to open the chat, I press uh, page on. My okay, answer. fine. Okay, so in this question, who are the neighbors of B? Is this a different question or what? No, sir. It's no, sir. Same, same question. So, okay. So who are the neighbors of B? No, I was just looking why I asked. I was just looking for the information whether they have changed the position or not. See, I have few. I have made few habits myself which I never leave. So what happens is in, in, in few questions or sub part of the question and you should make this habit. Uh, you... Now, right now you might be feeling that my speed may uh, reduce or something like that but few good habits are of of solving math questions is that whenever there are sub parts of the question just read the sub parts very carefully 
Do you understand it? Am I making some logic? Yes, sir. Fine. So don't uh, uh, go. I mean, don't be in rush to solve question. Yes. Sir. Accuracy yes. will come only when you are a little vigilant. Please remember my word. If you are not vigilant enough in the exam, if you don't, if you don't have eye for details, things would be difficult because you are, you would be in hurry and you will miss silly in uh, i mean you will miss small information and you will make silly mistakes who are the neighbors of b g and c are neighbors of, of b so option b next question extreme right so a is at the extreme right is it okay yes next now we will solve this question solve this question they are facing east People are giving me answers C, D, all these things. Fargo and Mercedes. Okay, let me solve this question. So how many cars are there? Seven cars. One, two, three. No, let me not make a place here. Let me make a place somewhere else. Let me take it to the other side. Okay. <laughs> so there are seven cars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> okay so cadillac uh, i'm not getting into that next to the right so if they are facing east this direction is right and this direction is left am i am i right so cadillac is next to the right of fargo so f and then c fine and fargo is fourth to the right of fiat 
and fourth fourth to the right of fiat means this is fiat one two three this is fargo so i'm writing it fiat fargo and this is cadillac so six places gone maruti car is between ambassador and bedford and uh, so if maruti car is between fiat is third to the right of ambassador so fiat is third to the right of ambassador so uh, one second so third to mm. the left third to the left of ambassador na so that's what this is ambassador and this is maruti and this is uh, sorry this is bedford and this is maruti and there is only one place left out fiat so is at that one bottom end right. one, one end would be here and that would be what that would be mercedes i think so uh, which of the cars are on the sides of cadillac it is fargo and mercedes so here it is option c fargo and mercedes is that fine Sure. Yes. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, please explain the question once again. Sorry. So I am saying, please give an explanation of this once again. Okay. One second. I'll solve it. Don't worry. देखो यहाँ पे. Cadillac is next to the right of Fargo. So Fargo अगर यहाँ पे है तो Cadillac उसके नीचे होगा. क्योंकि downward direction is is right. and upward direction is left if they are facing east fargo is right fourth right to the fiat so ye fargo hai to fiat 1 2 3 aur ye fiat hoga theek hai ab ye diya hua hai ki maruti is between ambassador and bedford and fiat is third to the left of ambassador so ambassador is here so then this becomes maruti and this becomes bedford maruti comes between ambassador and bedford why ambassador because if i put ambassador here then fiat becomes to the third to the left of ambassador and fiat is at one end it means that now the other another end is towards this cadillac only this place is left out so i'm writing here this is fiat this is bedford this is maruti this is fargo this is um, no not fargo ambassador after ambassador we have fargo <coughs> and then we have cadillac <coughs> and then there is only one place left out for mercedes so hence i put mercedes here. is that okay did you all understand this yes sir got it got it okay so now we will solve next question solve this question option a okay so what is it saying it is saying that which of the following statement is correct maruti is next to the left of ambassador absolutely correct bedford is next to the left no it is on right bedford is at one end wrong fiat is second to the right of maruti no fiat is second to the left of maruti so this is wrong so option a is the correct answer okay fine next question
Okay. So here comes which of the following statement is correct? Fargo is in between ambassador and fiat. Fargo is in between ambassador and fiat. Wrong. Uh, Cadillac is next to the left of Mercedes. Absolutely correct. Fargo is next to the right of. No, it is next to the left. Maruti is four to the right of Mercedes. Maruti is. Would be on the left because Maruti is, is Mercedes is on the right corner. So option B is the only correct option. Looking out here, next one. Very easy question. So right of ambassador, we have Fargo, we have Cadillac, and we have Mercedes or Mercedes Cadillac Fargo. So option B is correct. Okay. Okay, we have one more question. Solve this. So Mercedes would be to the right because Mercedes is at right, right hand corner. This is wrong. This is wrong. Mercedes cannot be in between anyone because Mercedes is at is at one corner. Four to the right of Maruti is correct answer. Solve this. Okay, everyone is, you know, I've got answers from Mahi and Yash, and then now Shristi is giving me the answer. They are all saying D as the answer. Okay, no issues. Take your time. When I start solving the question, I would uh, ask whether someone needs time or not.
Should I answer now? I've given you enough time, and time is also getting over. <coughs> okay. <coughs> are they sitting in a circle? Yes, they are. They are sitting in a circle. How many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is right. This is left. Okay. Nitish is third to the right of Amit. So Amit is here, and one, two, three. Nitish is here. Nitish is third to the right of Amit. Who is not an immediate neighbor of? So Amit is not an immediate neighbor of either Partha or Rashmi. So Partha and Rashmi cannot be at these two places. Okay, Partha is second to the left of Rashmi, who is third to the left of what's the name? Sindhu. Now Partha is second to the left of Rashmi. Where can Rashmi be? So these two places cannot be. If Rashmi is here, then Partha is second to the left. Partha can be here. If Rashmi is here, Partha cannot be here. If Rashmi is here, Partha can be here. So there are two places coming out for Rashmi and Partha. If Rashmi is here, Partha is here. Or if Rashmi is here, then Partha is here. These are the only two places for Partha and Rashmi. And Chintu is fourth to the right of Rashmi. So if Rashmi is here, so fourth to the right means this direction. One, two, three, four. So Rashmi cannot be here because fourth to the right of Rashmi would be Amit here. So Rashmi would be here. This place goes to Rashmi. And this place goes to This place goes to Partha. Now, Rashmi is third to the left of Sindhu, or Sindhu is third to the right of Sindhu is third to the right of Rashmi. So one, two, three, Rashmi comes here. So you will see that. Um, sorry, not Rashmi. Sindhu comes here. So if I put Sindhu here, you will find that uh, Rashmi would be third to the left of Sindhu in clockwise direction. Sindhu is fourth to the right of Rashmi. So one, two, three, four. This place goes to Sindhu. There is only one person left out. What's his name? Keshav. So Keshav would be here. So Keshav would be here. Now who is second to the left of Nitish? So second to the left of Nitish is what? Second, Sir. second to the left of Nitish is Sindhu. Answer would be none of these. Sir. Yes. Sir, where will be Verma? Sorry. Sir, where will be Verma? Where? One second. There is one between Amit and Rashmi. So one second, one second, one second, one second, one second. There are two places left out. There are two places left out. So Chintu is fourth to the right. One, two, three, four. So Chintu is fourth to the right of Rasmi. There is only one. There are now two places left out for Kesav and Varma. So either Kesav would be here or Varma would be here or Varma would be here and Kesav would be here. So this is the arrangement. There is no information given. <coughs> Please understand that there is no information given on Kesav and Varma. So. Keshav, Burma, Burma, Keshav. Is there any? I am asking a simple question. Is there any information given on Keshav and Burma? Where no, they no. were sitting? So there are two places left out after arranging six of them. So I am just giving these places: Burma and Keshav, and Keshav and Burma. So if Keshav is here, Burma is here. If Burma is here, Keshav is here. So first answer is none of these. Is it okay? Rest of the question we will continue in the next class. 
Sir. Perhaps Ankur sir will tell that. Uh, take that class. I will tell that. I have solved till here. So this question anyway is done. Next question will come up with another sheet. Is that okay? Sir, second to the right of Nitish could be Kesha or Varma. Are uh, right? Uh, uh, second to the right, na? So, sir, it could be Kesha or Varma. Uh, one second. Second to the right. Go in and take. Yes, it could be Kesha or Varma. But you don't know who. Fine. So, the answer would be... Please, Lord, de, bhai. please, jana hai. Okay, fine. Chalo. We will do this question. I'll do the 14th question. Se we'll start. Do not worry. Fine. Thank you. Chalo. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank Good you, day, sir. sir. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Sir, I am sorry. So, sir, I won't be removed from the anti AC class. No? Are you question? What do you do? Ankur, answer him. What is the question? He is saying whether he will be removed from the anti AC class. If you have not done DPP, you will be. <laughs> if you have done DPP, you will not be. The only way to be in the NTSC class yeah. is to do, keep on doing DPPs. And if you are not doing, inform us why you are not doing. Chalo, bye bye. Let them go, Rohit. Thank All you, right. Rohit. Thank you very much. Abhi, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to hear anything. My eyes are coming out. Bye. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir.